everyone and no I still have not cleaned my room. To be honest I was not supposed to film today but my iPhone shit itself and I needed to buy a new one and now I'm waiting for my whole collection of friggin photos and apps and videos and all that crap to be transferred from my computer like the old phone to my new phone and it's taking hours because I've got like tens of thousands of friggin images. Comment below, please tell me how many photos you have right now on your camera roll because I want to see if there's anyone as crazy as me because I'm pretty sure I've got like 70,000. <laughs> I feel like most of you will only have like maybe a thousand if that. I'm a bit excessive. But anyway, so yeah, my phone died and I bought a new one and I don't want to mess with my computer right now. It's going to edit today and I'm just too scared to stuff it up because it's taking so long. So I thought I'd come on here and film. <laughs> I've already got all of my base on. I'm actually using this foundation, which I did a first impression on. I'll link it down below. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills because we're going to be trying out the House Labs makeup range. I promised you guys this video. So today that's what we are doing. And I'm also going to do a giveaway because if you watched my PR haul, I'll link below as well. I did buy some stuff myself and then get sent like everything in PR anyway which I didn't even know I was on the PR list but anyway I have extras so comment below if you do want to enter that giveaway. All of the rules will be in the description. Let's jump in. I'm just gonna dust a little bit of bronzer through my crease because I think we're using liquid eyeshadows today. So if you can hear the like friggin storm outside as well, it is so windy. So I got sent all of these goodies as well as the like stick on eyeliners and the like face lace stuff. I don't know how much we're going to try today, but we're going to have some fun. I'm definitely going to at least like swatch everything that I'm not actually wearing on my eyes. So the collection consists of lip glosses, lip pencils, eyeliner and liquid eyeshadows. I think that's everything. And then the stick on eyeliner and the stick on face lace like I just said. Ooh, this is is making the lighting really nice because it's like reflecting. Anyway, here's the other thing I got seen in PR. So these are like the stick on face things. And then it just says here, House Laboratories has been a dream of mine for so many years. Built on a foundation of love. I founded this artistic creative collective to inspire kindness and self acceptance through beauty. I want you to love yourself and spread that acceptance to others around the world. Together we can do this. It's really cute. We believe in creative innovation, high quality formula and self empowerment. Our self expression tools were designed to inspire you to be brave in your beauty. Together you and I can walk hand in hand through life and change the world. Love Lady Gaga. Very cute and definitely very on brand with Lady Gaga, her beliefs and everything. Her whole like image with makeup is very crazy and very artistic so I feel like it fits. It's not necessarily the kind of a range of products that would normally grip my attention but because she's Lady Gaga I really want to try I love Lady Gaga. Like I wouldn't normally go like liquid eyeshadows, I wouldn't normally go lip gloss but I am actually way more open to lip gloss lately ever since I tried the Carly Bible um, Il Maquillage lip glosses. I really like them and I've kind of been experimenting a bit more. And also the Makeup Revolution Lip Exquisite or whatever it's called. The one that I keep raving about. I don't even know if you can still get it but I really like that one. So I'm really open to this. And of course eyeliner. There are so many amazing eyeliners out right now. So many. So we'll see if it compares. I'm going to start by swatching all of these little liquid eyeshadows and I'm going to decide on which one to actually apply to the eyelid. Alright so first off the packaging is really cute. It's kind of like diamondy shaped black packaging. You can see the colors down the bottom which is handy if you do own a few of them you can tell them apart. They've got the name label on the bottom and then they say House Laboratories on the side. I've got my arm exposed ready for swatches. They're probably going to be shit swatches because I'm terrible at swatching. But on the website I just want to read you like what these are. They're called the Liquid Shimmer Powders and they go for $34 New Zealand. And it says they are versatile shimmer liquid eyeshadows that are weightless, smudge proof, liquid to powder, and they're easily layered and blended. So you can have it like light or heavy. You can control the effect it gives. So you can apply it with the doe for applicator and then you can share it out with your finger or an eyeshadow brush. And then to make it intense, just layer it. Pretty simple, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. This first shade is called Legend. It's a nice pale gold. And yes, my face is more tan than my body right now. I kind of like went too dark with my foundation. <laughs> Don't call me out. We have Rose Bitch. Oops, see what I mean? I'm really bad at swatching. I can never do them pretty. We have Aphrodite. Is that how you pronounce that? Oops, I don't know. Aphrodite, Aphrodite, I don't know. I always hear people saying it in different ways. Honestly, that wind outside is horrendous. Okay, next up we have a Biker, which looks 
like a gunmetal color. Yeah, they are very liquidy by the way. I thought that'd be like more of a creamy consistency, but they are definitely like liquid. Well, this one's leaking. That's not ideal. Oh, oh, oh my God, look at that. It's like literally like overflow. I'm not sure why that's just happened. That's the first time I've opened it. It must just be like a faulty packaging. So I might have to try and clean that up with some wipes after the video. Okay, next up we have Chained Ballerina. Okay, that's more of a black. And then last but not least, this is what I'm kind of most excited about. This is called Dynasty, which is like a really cool emerald green color. So those are all the shades. Naturally, I'm kind of attracted to the top three and the bottom. I'm not really into blacks and gunmetals. I'm gonna zoom you in. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Aphrodite, however you pronounce that. And I'm gonna go straight onto my eyelid. I'm gonna try not to use too, too much product because it is so liquidy. I think less would probably be more and then just layer it. And then let's just try our finger to start because it's such a light color. Like I don't think we need to be too careful with the placement. It's a really nice kind of like just everyday color. Very easy to blend this shade, but it is so natural. So we will try out one of the more dramatic colors as well. I was gonna use the black, but I think I'll go in with green because then we'll be able to see the liquid eyeliner. If I use black, I feel like we won't be able to tell if the liner's any good. So I'm going to pop on, I don't even know like where we're gonna put this. Let's do the outer corner. And then I'm going to take a brush this time to blend it inward. This is a firm blender brush by Exo Beauty. And I'm just gonna try and like work that into the crease. Oh my gosh, you really don't need much product at all. I'm just gonna like wing it out. That's so pretty though. Ooh, look how shiny that is. It feels so comfortable as well. It doesn't feel thick at all. Like it's definitely much like obviously thinner than a creamy eyeshadow because it's so runny and liquidy. You really can't even feel it on your eyelid at all. It's funny because I'm not usually attracted to products like this because I just feel like eyeshadow is quicker and easier to... Actually, this is probably quicker, but you know, I feel like eyeshadow is more controllable. This is a little bit more intimidating to use. I don't think it's as beginner friendly. Um, unless you go for like the first color we use, that one's a little bit less scary. This one's definitely something you're going to have to be a bit more careful with. Yeah, this brush is working really well to blend it out. And I might even build it up a little bit once we've, you know, got the sides even. So I'm just going to go kind of like on that outer corner again. And then just try to concentrate it a little bit more. And blend it out less. Like I'm kind of just tapping it into place this time. This is very glam. It's very Lady Gaga. Like, I think it's very true to her. I'd love to see this brand do like a palette of like pressed glitters or something fun like that. So yeah, this is definitely the kind of makeup look that's going to be quite sultry and smoky. It's not going to give you some kind of structured eye unless you really do use really small delicate brushes and stuff. Like, this is a very smoldery eye look right now. It's not symmetrical. Like, not perfectly symmetrical. It's very blendy and like glittery and fun very punkish you know i'm gonna just go in a little more with that first color we used i'm gonna apply this to my inner corner and just kind of let it set there to be a little bit more intense oh i just put that in my eye and it stings ah be very careful around the inner corner holy shit oh because it's so liquidy it just like melted all over my eyelid just then i mean my eyeball wow that wasn't very fun now my eye is kind of pink, but oh well. The verdict. Definitely fun. Definitely a bit hard to control. I think if you're going to be using brushes, like unless you want that smoldery look like what I have created today, you want to go in with small, precise brushes. But the lighter colors would be very fun just with your finger, just blend it all over for like an everyday look. I'm just taking some foundation, sharpening that line with a concealer brush. And I'm going to go back in with the same brush I used and I'm just going to see if I can just continue to blend that a little bit. I feel like I've got a little patch right here. I'm just going to touch it to see if it's transferring. And there's like a little bit of shimmer that comes off but the color stays set so that's good. You don't want it to like shift around throughout the day that's for sure. Alright let's try these face lace or like face, I don't know, eyeliner stickers. Let me just see what they say about this. You get a bunch. I mean, yes, it depends how much they cost. I can only see a set of these and the eyeliner together for 60 New Zealand dollars. Yeah, I can't see if you can buy them separately, which is a little bit strange, because you can buy the eye lace, which are these. You can buy them separately. I'm gonna go for like a slightly thicker one. They're kind of weird, because they've got this hard out like texture on them. 
I probably am not gonna be able to like show you properly. Oh, you can kind of see. Do you see what I mean? They kind of look like band-aids or something. <laughs> Honestly, okay, I feel like we're gonna have to use a tweezer because otherwise my big old fingers are getting in the way. This is one of those things where like you'd assume it would be really easy, but it's kind of like fiddly, you know? Oh my God, I can't do it. Okay, I've got it on my thumbnail and I'm gonna try and, oh God. Oh God, is that good? I feel like that's too pointy upward. Okay, I feel like that's okay-ish. And I'm gonna go ahead and try out the eyeliner, the liquid matte, they're matte, matte of the matte. In the shade Punk, you get one mil in here. And how much does this go for? $34 individually. So technically that makes the eyeliner stickers like what? The set is 60, like 25 bucks. Mm, I wouldn't pay $25 for this. Like you don't get very many. Unless you can like rewear these. Let me just look it up. Oh, okay, yeah, these are reusable, which is weird. Do they stay sticky? And it comes with two different sizes. Um, you can rock a standard or a thick. I think this is the thick one. The other one looks like the bottom row looks like a thinner, longer wing, whereas this looks thicker. Cruelty free and vegan again. I mean, I guess if they really are reusable, it could be worth it. I don't know, it depends. Like, would you use them? I don't know, I'd just probably do my own wing. I feel like it took me longer to stick it on than, than what it would to just draw it on. Okay, I'm gonna try and match this up. Can you hear that? I hate the wind. Okay, I'm trying to like join it up nicely. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Okay, so it is ridiculously black and pigmented. It is going on immediately like opaque. It's not bleeding. It just looks so black, like paint. It's ridiculously easy to apply. It's not skipping. Yeah, like I said, it's not bleeding at all. It's looking a little bit shiny right now, so hopefully it dries a bit more matte. And it'll be interesting to see if the eyeliner actually covers all these little shimmers and the eyeshadow as well, because sometimes when I wear shimmery eyeshadow, the eyeliner doesn't cover it properly. Yeah, I don't think I'm sold on the eyeliner stickers. I can see what they were trying to do, but it's just for me personally, it's a personal preference thing. Like, they look okay, but it's just not my cup of tea, really. But the eyeliner... I like quite a lot. So I'm just gonna do my eyeliner on the other side quickly and then try sticking the eyeliner sticker on afterwards. We'll just see how that looks. Cause I don't really know if I'm supposed to do the sticker before or after, you can kind of see the edge. One thing I have to give kudos to this brand for as well is it is definitely pushing me outside of my comfort zone. Like this kind of eye look that you can create with the products is something I wouldn't normally do at all. And I really like it. Like it's really pretty. It's something that's quite simple. It's almost like taking a step backward in makeup styles at the moment because everyone's doing these crazy colorful cut creases and like multi colors and all of these amazing artistic looks which are amazing. But you get so hung up in like all these trends. It's like this is something that's a little bit more like classic, punkish, very Lady Gaga, very simple and easy that like anyone could do. Obviously, like I said, you could still create a look that's a lot more crazy with these products, but I think you need a lot of skill. Like, I don't know if I could do that because the formula is so runny. Oh, by the way, you can shake them up too. There's like a little ball. The felt tip as well, I love. This is like literally going straight in my drawer. I really like it. And then I'm taking the other sticker. Oh, they're so fiddly. If you're good with little intricate things and you're very patient, you'll get along with this product a bit better. But I am not very patient, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, why do I suck at this so much? I'm just gonna stick them on like that. That's way higher than the other side, but honestly, I can't do any better. I just can't. I'm gonna add a little bit more green eyeshadow. Is I feel like I just want it a bit more bright. It's quite wearable right now, surprisingly. And then I'm gonna have to somehow blend this. Wish me luck. Okay, we're gonna go back in with that concealer brush and just try to, yeah. Oh God, I've kind of ruined it. I'll just pretend like it's supposed to be like that. I feel like also the sticker is not sticking properly. Like it's kind of flapping around. So I better not go outside today. Like I said, it's very windy out there and I feel like it's just gonna blow it off my face. So that's the eye makeup. I guess we'll do some mascara and lashes. I might just pop them on quickly off cam. Actually first, should we put these on? So I've just peeled it off. Where does this one go? I think it goes on this side. Don't really know where to put it. I'm just gonna look it up on the website and see where they put it. All right, so yeah, she had it kind of in this shape, what I've actually done, Lady Gaga did. So it kind of come down a little bit and then up. Okay. So these cost $42.30. 
I probably wouldn't really purchase something like this unless it was for like a masquerade party or like an event or something, you know, a costume party. It's not really something obviously that I'd just go and pop on my face to run to the grocery store. It's definitely something that would be for like a special occasion, $42. I guess it depends on what you value it to be, you know? And if you can reuse them, that's pretty cool as well. So these are in collaboration with Face Lace. Hopefully you can kind of see a little bit of that glimmer. You can definitely see it in real life. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up because it's very subtle. And then the top one they've actually put on top of the eyebrow. So let's give it a go. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous I was gonna rip that. Okay. So they've kind of got it like, I'm gonna to have to copy the website. I'm not creative enough for this. Like, no, I feel like Theirs looks flatter. Maybe it's just my eyebrow shape. Ooh, I don't like that. You know what, let's just kind of roll with it and just do something that looks pretty on my own eye shape. Look, if I put it in the crease, is that cool? I don't know. I might just do it on one side for now and we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna chuck on some mascara and lashes. I'll be right back. Okay, number one, I researched and you're supposed to stick these on bare skin. So mine are not sticking at all, but I think that's my own fault. I actually kind of like it, it's growing on me. My lashes also are not sticking down. I don't know why. Might be the shitty old glue that I'm using. And this, whoops, edge is a little bit harsh, so I'm just gonna keep trying to blend it a little more. It's a bit better, maybe. All right, so these lashes are called the Wild One by EXO Beauty. I just thought they went really cool with this look because they're a little bit edgy and different, you know? They like fan out, I think you can see. Now let's try the lip products. So these are the last products we've got. Lip pencils and the lip glosses. I think there's like three shimmers and three mattes, or like three cream. There's six lip liners. So I'm gonna swatch them all on my hands and then just choose a combo to actually wear today. So all of these definitely look very, very wearable. First we have arrived. These just look like standard lip pencils, like wooden lip pencils, which I do really like. You tend to get more product in something like this than a wind up lip pencil or one in plastic packaging. They're a bit better for the environment too, which is a little bonus. So yeah, did I say that's called Ride? It says Demi Matte Lip Liner. Very creamy, it applied like immediately, very pigmented. Next up we have Drag, which looks a little bit more purple tone. And then we have On Point, which looks like your really nice like beige nude. I love the look of that. It's definitely up my alley. Next up we have Myth, which is a muted pinky color, like a medium kind of tone. Then we have Rule, which is very similar, except a little bit more like peachy. And then last but not least, we have Slayer, which looks like a darker color. It looks like a dark, whoops, berry color. So yeah, they're all definitely very wearable. I love every single one, to be honest. I think they're all really pretty. And then the six lip glosses. First off, we have Venus, and I think this is pretty much the same style of packaging as the liquid eyeshadows. So that there, once again, is Venus. Except, of course, you get your doe foot applicator. It's kind of like a pointed tip. Straight off the bat, like, applying that to my hand, it does feel quite thick. So hopefully it doesn't feel too thick and chunky on my lips because for lip glosses, I really like something lightweight and, like, not sticky or anything, just personally. Next up, we have Entranced, which looks like a golden clear shimmer. Very pretty. Oh, it's kind of got, like, a little bit of a pinky reflect almost. And then we have Corset which is a wearable baby pinky peachy color. Next up, we have Attitude. I think that's what that says. And this one is a darker pinky color with, I think, gold shimmer through. This one here is called Blaze, which is a really pretty creamy pinky color. And then the last one is called Scream. And this is like a purplish tone, which obviously goes with that lip pencil that I swatched next to it. I think you could definitely mix and match different lip pencils with different lip glosses to create different effects, but you know, like you could definitely find a match as well. I'm gonna take this lip pencil and it ride, and you can see how creamy that applies. I really like these. These go for $27.66 New Zealand dollars. My lips are definitely very moisturized because I've got lip balm on, just the little EXO Beauty lip balm. But you can like see that, like they look so smooth on the lips. And then on top I'm going to try the glittery frosty one which is called Entranced. It's kind of clear with those glitters. Okay, it's not sticky. It's a little bit thick but it actually feels quite hydrating. Alright, let's see how much this costs quickly. These go for $30.91 New Zealand dollars. And I just want to read about them really quickly. It's described as a gel lip gloss. 
It's got shine, shimmer, pearl, and pure pigment, so you can design a look that's all your own. It doesn't say anything about being hydrating or whatever, it's cruelty-free vegan. But to me it just like feels very hydrating. And you get 5ml in here. I feel like this would look so pretty when you don't have anything on your lips. It just is like a really natural, like, shiny, kissable, natural look. Sorry, I keep looking at my computer screen because I'm like looking at the website, but... That's how the makeup's come out. Overall, I would definitely give kudos to the brand because it is so true to like Lady Gaga style in my opinion. Products are definitely a little bit different. Um, the lip glosses are really pretty and wearable. I think for someone like me, it's definitely the kind of colors I would gravitate towards because they are just like easy, you know, and they'll go with a lot of the everyday lipstick colors that I like to wear. The liquid eyeshadows, like I have pros and cons, I guess. Overall though, I think they do look really pretty when they're on. I just don't know how often I would like bother to use it. The eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner, I love. The stick on face things, I just think it depends on your personal preference. The lip liners I love and the lip gloss. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. It's definitely quite thick. Like I can see why they call it like a gel formula, but it feels hydrating, it's not sticky, and it's not like going in my mouth or anything. My lips look very plump and very juicy and very hydrated, which I really like. So that is a win from me. Hopefully the little hand swatches were helpful. Hopefully the entire video was helpful. Let me know down below if you are a little monster, are you a fan of Lady Gaga, or do you not really like her music? I've always loved her music. I think she's so cool. I think she's an inspiration. She's super creative. Like just a really cool person from what I've seen. I'm not like a super fan or anything like that. I'm not really like a super fan of many, you know, pop stars or anything like that. But I've always admired like her makeup and her style and stuff. I've probably done some Lady Gaga tutorials on my channel in the past, you know. I just really like her makeup style. So this is very exciting and I am excited to see what House Laboratories brings out next. Be cool to see them bring out like some lipsticks or some eyeshadows or something like that. Like powdered ones or like, like I said, like a cool pressed glitter palette. Just something cool like that, like fun highlighters. I don't know, like I definitely can envision this brand being a very fun and kind of like that grungy punk rock style mixed with like glam, you know, like those kind of vibes. So we'll see where it goes, but let me know if you picked up anything, what you think of it, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.